Um, it's called Walking the Room. And it was picked by the Onion AV Club as one of the top 10 podcasts of 2012. Was, I mean, that felt like a mercy. F- I mean, it was very sweet of them. They're yeah. very nice. Well, yeah. Well, it's a great podcast. So. Thank you. Um, people may also know you as the author of He's Just Not That Into You. Co-author. Yep. Co-author mm-hmm. of uh, that. And they just may know you as a jackass they see about town. I think, I mean, there's a lot, like the guy that I almost got in a fight with at the deli he that's how he sees me yeah he sees me as my he, he, he sees, sees the me real as you. Own business he sees the real you yeah he, and through. he got a little taste of it the other yeah. day that was fun you didn't but, throw down did you um well no but i i well i mean i because a guy that wears a cardigan i don't see i i don't see th- here's the throwing thing. down i'm not a i'm not a throw down guy unless you yell at an older woman uh, because you missed your number, and she says, I'm 35. And he said, no, I don't think so, lady. I'm next. And I said, well, they already called you a number. And he said, uh, oh, yeah? Is that how this is going to go, bro? And then, <laughs> because, it was, we'll talk about it later, yeah. I'm newly medicated. What I found is, <clears throat> when you don't have any of the fear that you used to have before, um, you can stay in the moment. And just repeat back to the guy what he's saying, but you just say it back quietly and you smile when you say it. <laughs> and at one point he said, uh, you don't want to mess with me, man. And I go, you don't want to mess with me, bro. <laughs> and I just smiled at him like maybe we'd have a hug. He just got more and more furious and eventually he just ordered some chicken. <laughs> <laughs> it really was that weird thing of, I really was like, I really have had this, uh, um, this uh, sort of, you know, kind of awakening through this situation through using the meds. And, and I, I was just present for it. And I was just like, I'm not going to yell, but you're also not going to push an old woman around on right. Super Bowl Sunday. This woman's wearing a lime suit. She's got enough going against her. On a Monday, she's, she's on her own, take but, her, but on Super Bowl Sunday. Here's, here's my favorite yeah. part of the whole thing. As we're having this back and forth and he's getting more and more puffed up and he's a big dude and he's wearing sweats. He says, uh, he says something like, you know, you're really, you're heading for it, buddy. Something like that. And the woman says, go ahead and hit him. <laughs> We're all watching. Go ahead and hit him. And I kept thinking, you know, if he hits me, I can get that computer. <laughs> like, I could get that computer. And also, a couple weeks ago. I might not ago, be able to operate it. No. But a couple weeks ago, I split my head open trying to teach my daughter how to skateboard. So I know what a shot to the skull feels like recently. I lived through it. So there's really not a whole lot he can do to me that I haven't already felt in the last 10 weeks. Plus, I just feel good enough about myself right now to not to be able to take. I can take a few shots. Yeah. So anyway, he just ordered chicken. <clears throat> he backed down. So um, what would the old Greg have done? The unmedicated Greg? I'd have, met it, I'd have met it with the same sort of ferocity. I would have come back at him as really blue. You want a little piece of this shit? <laughs> Cause I'll fucking, you know, I would have gone that route. Yeah. I would have gone like, you want some? Cause I'll fucking, yeah. I'll tear your fucking lungs out. Like I would have gone to that thing. The problem is that guy couldn't rip anyone's lungs out. So he could, I'm a, you know, I'm a fine enough actor to be able to pull that off. But I couldn't then when that, like if he was like, okay, I'd be like, maybe later. <laughs> I don't have my lung pulling hands on. Like, I don't know what I would say, but I just, I wasn't. When I get back from my car, I'm going to kick your ass. Yeah, it would have just, it would have just escalated. And it would have, like, it wasn't like I wasn't in fear. It's just I would have let my fear take it to that point where my wife grabs my arm a lot and goes, don't make this a thing, you know, or in the car or any time where someone just bumps me and then I feel like I've been shoved by God and I'm like shoved back, you know, and I, you know, I go, oh, the life can't, fuck you, life. And um, I just don't have, the energy, I suppose, for that, or I don't know. And, There's... and isn't all anger, isn't there just a, a little ember of fear inside that feeding totally, it anyway? Totally. I mean... It may be really buried, and you're not, you're, not, you're not recognizing what that fear is, but... Right. Yeah, no, totally. And, and I mean, I genuinely watched a guy yell at an older woman at the store and was like, bro. And I didn't come at him like that. I was just like, bro, like... Mm-hmm. You you have to be clear on this. You're 55 with a mustache and sweats, and this woman is 80 plus. Like, just let her have, let her order. Then you can go next or whatever. There were a lot of different ways he could have resolved that. You know, even by saying, you know what, guys, I missed my shot. I'm 34, to which both of us would have said, yeah, go ahead. No problem. Mm-hmm. Super Bowl Sunday. I'm just getting some chicken. He was getting some chicken. He really got pumped up. 
Yeah. And then at one point he called me a slob. And I said, but you're wearing sweats. Like, that doesn't work. <laughs> that really made him mad. <laughs> and when I got a little, they got a little crowd gathered around. There's a little bit. Of, I, got a, I got a couple of laughs.